All right, two videos in one today. I didn't even like the video from yesterday. That's why I'm just combining today and yesterday. But yesterday I kind of realized like I just don't have the strength right now. I'm ending the bulk. I'm looking forward to the cut. So I didn't have a good bench session. It was like a super weak day. It was just kind of a frustrating workout. So I'll show some of it. I'll show the videos that you know came out okay and that I liked. But I'm just going to combine today's workout with yesterday's workout. Uh, today is supposed to be a pull day. I don't know. After today's video, I probably won't. I probably won't do anything for I don't know how long. I'll take like a short little break, and then I'll start the cut. Like officially start the cut. I'm kind of looking forward to starting it right now, but it's not going to actually happen for at least a few days probably more than a few days it probably won't be like an actual cut for about another week and then it'll like slowly start to turn into the actual cut and then it'll be like full-on cut in a few weeks from now so it's going to be kind of a slow process i decided you know i just want to take a few probably like at least a few days off and just kind of kind of just get recovered just kind of get my mindset switched over from what it's been to what it's going to be. It's going to be like similar workouts. I don't know what style I'm going to work out yet, but I'm going to have to, you know, I, I can think about that when I take some days off, you know, what the split's going to look like, what exercises I want to do. Do I want bench to even be part of it or not? That's something I've gone back and forth on. I squatted for the first time in a long time. I, did, I just did like 225 for five reps, I think. Nothing crazy, but do I want to have squat as part of my program? Uh, I've been tempted to get into deadlifting for a while. Every once, like every, like not even every year. On average, I do it like less than once a year. I'll deadlift, but something I, I kind of want to do sometimes. I don't know if I really want to do it or not. And cutting, so I don't know. But I think I'm going to deadlift today. I got the new belt was on sale not bad of course i checked my size like i measured around my belly button and got the right size or made sure that it was the right size it's a lot bigger than i thought though and i'm on like the very last run like the very last uh hole so i've never had a belt like this before that's why i wanted it but this is as, like the very last hole so this is as small as you can make this size belt and i'm going to be cutting so hopefully it fits but I did, of course, I tried it on after I got it in here. And it does fit pretty tightly. It's definitely different than any belt that I'm used to. I've only had a few belts. I only had two belts, actually. I have, like, the Redcon 1 belt. And before that, I had a... had, like, a like a Titan or, like, a Trojan or something on it. I don't remember the brand. But that belt was terrible. It, like, it was so thin and flimsy. And then I, I thought the Redcon 1 belt was good. And it probably is good for like bodybuilding. But I wanted like the heavy duty belt with like the lever. I wanted to try it out. So that was like $50. I went ahead and went for it. I'm uh, definitely going to use it over that Redcon 1 belt. Feels very sturdy. I want to test it out today. That's why I'm deadlifting. Now that doesn't mean I'm maxing out or anything. Uh, my deadlift like all time PR is 405. And I also set that the first time I ever deadlifted. That's just because I'm not a deadlifter. So, and I've equaled that, I think only one other time. I think I've only deadlifted 405 twice. I've done it like less than five times. I know one time I just did like 315 for some reps. And I was like, I wonder how the form is. And then I just never deadlifted again. So we'll see how it goes today. But also push day. It's going to be after the pull day. I'll show it after. Uh, what did I do? Oh, yeah, the bench was really weak. I tried to re... I was re-racking 315 after, like... I tried to do, like, a slow motion rep. I thought I was going to be able to do multiple. But, like I said, it was just a super weak workout. I went to re-rack it, and I missed on the right side. And all the plates fell off. And all the plates were still on the left side, though. But all three fell off the right side. So I had to like re-rack it. I had to hold on to the bar while I got up, take a plate off. So yeah, that happened. And I don't know. We'll just see what makes the video, what doesn't. 
but first thing I do is gonna be the deadlift. I'll probably warm up with, I don't even know what I'm gonna do to warm up for deadlift, but I wanna warm up a little and then I'll get into the deadlifting. The workout was like super random for this pull back day, whatever it was. I didn't even record everything. 
It got like super random though. Like I was doing 185 cheat curls at one point. I attempted some put some pull ups. I mean, at one point I started squatting. So I don't even know what I was doing. It, it got. It started out as deadlifts, T bar rows. I got to the T bar rows, and of course I was weak. Which you know, it's been a weak week. So not surprised at all. I only did like three reps with six plates. I thought I was gonna rep it out. And then I thought I was gonna add even more weight and maybe like do more weight than I've ever done. But of course not. Uh, deadlift, that was a PR, 410. So I didn't bench 410, but I deadlifted it. Uh, previous PR was 405, which is the first time I ever deadlifted. I've done it a few times. And now 410, I don't deadlift. So, you know, that's not an impressive PR for deadlift, but for a non-deadlifter, I, I was just gonna do four plates again, but I was like, I might as well PR. So I threw the little baby 2.5s on, so 410 deadlift. What else? I don't know, this video is probably kind of random at this point, because I don't even know what videos I have to put in it. So I'll just figure it out, and this is gonna be the end of the bulk. Uh, when I start recording the videos again, I will be cutting, so I'll probably document the cut. And then if, you know, I like documenting the cut, I can keep going. If not, like I said, I said 2024 is probably the year I stop recording workouts. So who knows, I might, I might be done with it. Maybe not, we'll see, we'll see if something good happens. But who knows, you just gotta, I just kinda like float, I just kinda float. I don't really try and force this, force that. I'll, all you can really do is just kinda like stay afloat, stay above water, and whatever happens, happens. So I just let, let the, let the tide take me wherever I go, and that's really all you can do is just give your, your best effort wherever you're at. So, yeah, I've been working working hard on the bulk, and now it's time to work hard on the cut. I think it's gonna be the best cut ever once I actually start, you know, getting really into it. So, probably in like a month when I check back, I'll see some decent progress. It's hard to say because I'm probably not gonna look good at first when I start that cut. The best that I looked was when I ended the cut and I started the bulk. Cause I went from being like flat and not having uh, a good amount of food and carbs to all of a sudden a surplus. And that's when my veins really came out and I looked the best for probably like that first three weeks of bulking. I looked really great and then it went away of course. And I just started looking bulky and now I'm like super bulky looking. So we'll see. You know, I have my good days when I have like a good pump going where I look decent. So. That gives me some confidence going into the cut. And that's really it. A year of bulking, now the cut begins.